Hello guys, welcome back. Behind me here you can see my roof tent set up. Now in the future I'm going to go over the whole setup, but for now I just want to go over the Ventura Deluxe roof tent. Ventura roof tents are a UK based company here in Essex, and they make roof tents that have an attainable price point compared to a lot of other brands. So let's have a closer look. I opted to mount the roof tent over the truck bed of my Ford Ranger rather than on the roof. This allows me to keep the truck's profile lower. This is important for me both because I drive off road in woodlands and forests with overhanging branches and as I keep the tent mounted permanently it allows me to fit into car parks with height restrictions. The mounting kit that comes with the roof tent is very versatile and allowed me to fit it to the front runner rack very easily and it still allows me a lot of access to the back of the truck. The Ventura's heavy duty case has done a good job of protecting the tent is zipped to the frame and secured down with velcroed straps. You can flip over the cover, leaving it attached on one side for convenience, or completely remove it and stow it away to keep it dry if it is bad weather. Using the ladder it's very easy to unfold the tent. The pivot point using the ladder just allows you to do it with minimal fuss. Now the tent is basically ready to use. The 1800mm polycotton canvas skin and fly fold into position automatically and all that's left to do if you want is slot in the supports for the window awnings shielding you further from wet weather. The whole package is supported by a folding lightweight aluminium frame and totals 50 kilograms in weight. This includes the comfortable fitted moisture resistant 5cm high density foam mattress. Which brings us to the interior. The inside space measures 150 by 125 centimetres with the highest point measuring 126 centimetres leaving plenty of space for two people and some convenience items or three if needed though I'd say probably more like two and a child. We have windows with insect nets and awnings on all sides allowing you to open up the tent no matter which way around you decide to mount it and get panoramic views. Also inside are shock cords that help pull the walls in whilst putting away the tent which can handily be used as drying lines or along with the frame somewhere to hang lanterns and handy pockets on the sides. From the website Ventura claims that the Deluxe is designed to withstand the arduous conditions in all the continents, able to withstand temperatures of minus 27 degrees, the heat of Morocco and winds of 55 miles per hour. I myself have experienced very heavy rain inside the tent and it held up very well to them conditions. With all them facts out of the way I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my experiences with the roof tent and with roof tent camping in general. As I mentioned I have used it in some pretty bad rain and climbing up to the tent can mean getting a bit wet. However Ventura also do the extended version which has a covered bottom entrance point to deal with this problem. Also regarding wet conditions, thanks to a suggestion I've started using a cargo net underneath the base for stowing away wet and muddy boots keeping the inside dry and clean. When packing away it's best to let the tent fully dry or when you get a chance open it up and dry it when you get home to avoid any mould growth. More specific to the deluxe tent I noticed that the ladder was starting to damage the base due to movement on the road and due to off-roading. Now I take a bit of blame on that due to the way I pack it away but I have just slotted a plastic panel in to help avoid this further. And the last tip I'd give is replacing the mounting washers under the mattress with bigger washers to avoid the pressure pulling them through the base. These points aside, I've been over the moon with the performance of the Ventura Deluxe tent. The price does not reflect the quality of the materials and the build, making it a bargain to get started in roof tent camping. Whether you roof mount, bed mount, or even trailer mount the tent. I'll include links below in the description for the tent and their other products. Also for the awning that I use and the wheel levelers, which I think are a necessity for this style of camping. I've also noticed they're doing a discount on the website at the moment on roof tents. I believe this is £100 and lasts through August, making this even more affordable. Hope you guys have found this one informative. If you've got any questions, I'll do my best to answer them below in the comments. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.